Premier League predictions for the 2021 and 22 season. The first one I think going down in 20th spot is going to be Watford. Personally, I think because they haven't got a strong team, they've just they've been relegated to pre- uh, two seasons ago, and now they just come back, and I don't feel like they're gonna make any um good changes to their team. So yeah, they're going in twentieth position. Now in nineteenth spot, I think it's gonna be Brentford. Um, mainly same reason, just came up into the fir- first flight for God knows how long, and they'll have to play all the good teams and. Just Teams getting better these days, and I don't think they they can keep up with them really. So yeah, I'm just gonna send them right down to the 19th place, getting back relegated. And then next up on this list, in 18th place, I think it's going to be Brighton of Albion, mainly just because of their the season, their last season coming like just escaping relegation. Um, I just I just can't see them see them making it another year, you know. I mean, it's so tough for them, and they they haven't made any any signings whatsoever this season, and there's only there's only a, a month left of the transfer window, so I can't see them getting anyone. Um, yeah, just mainly, just mainly because of the transfers. I mean, they can't they can't stay up if they just avoid a relegation. And then expect to stay up again, not making any transfers. So yeah, eighteenth place, um, Brighton over Albion. The next one I think is gonna be just scraping relegation is gonna be Norwich. Mainly because I just can't see them winning many games. I you know, I just really can't. Um, I know they finished really well last season, but one one season doesn't make them a good team. And they're only they've only been in it for one year, and most of the teams that are in it for one year, they they just go out, um, and I know I'm being really harsh on them. They did really well, but they, they can't they can't carry on. They, I mean they're probably not gonna lose their play some of their players to be like young players to big clubs like loads of other. Teams have like Jack Grealish is probably gonna move on either this season or the next season. Harry Kane's gonna move. Um, so yeah. And then next one up on this list is Newcastle. Um just because I reckon they will get through because they have got an alright team, they've got an alright goalkeeper. But they they gotta play they gotta play the good teams. They will get they will be they'll stay up because they're gonna beat most of the the ones below them. Um, I just, I just don't know. I don't know why I think that they'll just they'll they'll come, they'll come next. But I just have a feeling. I just have a a weird feeling. So and then next up, I think it's going to be Crystal Palace. The reason why I chose Crystal Palace is because they've got the good, te- good teams with good players above them now. And coming into the good teams, it did really well last season. It got good goalkeepers or good just strikers or whatever like Burnley Wolves um Leeds they're going to be doing well um then you've just got Wolves Leeds West Ham and it's just got loads of them and I don't I don't know whether they've made any uh, transfers I haven't really had a look but yeah I'm just going to choose them and then next up I'm going to put Southampton Mainly because they've only got they've only got one player that can do it. It's Danny Ings, and I'm coming into the good teams. I just said that uh, before. Um, I just I just think that they'll they'll do all right. They'll come about the same as they did last season. But yeah, I'm just gonna choose them because they're not as good as the ones that I'm gonna above. So yeah. And then in 13th spot, I'm going to put Burnley. The main reason for this is because Nick Pope is going to get them so far up. Um, he's going to be really good next season. He was last season. And um, you've got better teams above them, so they can't go much higher. Uh, yeah, it's just the main reason I'm going to choose them. Next up in 12th place is going to be Leeds. The main uh, the main reason is because of their the great performance last season. Um, I think they're gonna make some transfers, and yeah, um, just because of their good performance and they're still gonna be proud of coming twelfth. 
um, the second season in top flight for a while. And they're going to do really well. Hopefully, hopefully I don't want to see them get relegated because I really like Leeds. They're a good team. And they've come all this way to last season to get really well. Just, yeah, so hopefully they don't do the same thing that happened to um, Sheffield United. And now in 11th place is Arsenal. Well, simple, really. They're not a good team. They're not as good as what they used to be. And there's no point in, in me saying that they can become better because they can't. They're only good players. But Kyle Saka, all the refs are just shambles. Now then, we're in the top 10. This is where things are going to get tricky. But who I've chosen 10th place, though, pretty much the same as last season, is Tottenham. Mainly because they're just not... They're, they're OK, but if I can see Harry Kane leaving last minute, I can. And if they don't, they'll still probably make 10th. Because... It's just The chemistry of their team is not good whatsoever. They they make stupid mistakes. Their keeper's getting old. I know he's a good keeper, but I just, I just don't see them do it, winning it. I just don't see them getting higher than 10th. I'm sorry, all you Tottenham fans. Next up is going to be Everton because Everton are not... They're, they're okay. They did well last... They did okay last season for the first part of it, and then they just started going down. Sigurdsson, he's gone. Uh, that I don't think he's going to play for... Uh, I don't think he's going to play for a bit. And the keeper, I know he did really well, but he only he only does really well for England. So that's just the reason why I chose ninth for them. And then next up, I think, is going to be Wolves. They've got a good team, so I think they're going to make it uh, high up the table like they usually do. Um, but they usually start to go down uh, at the middle of the... Uh, like, near the end. So that's why I think if, if they didn't, if they carry, carried on going how they started, they'd probably end up sixth. But they're not. Uh, they're just going to end up eighth, in my opinion. Next up, I'm going to say West Ham. Mainly because they lost their best player. But they're still going to do well because they've still got another player. Um, Lingardinho, he's he's gone now. I... I want he should he should come back because he's not going to get any game time. He's got three really good midfielders there already. He's not going to get any game time, so he should just leave. He should put a transfer request or a loan request. I reckon it should be a transfer request. So yeah, that's uh up to seventh place. Next up, I think it's going to be Aston Villa. One reason really, Jack Grealish. They would have come higher last season if Jack Grealish didn't get injured. So, yeah, just going to say Jack Grealish straight straight up. Because, I mean, they're a great team when they want to be. I mean, beating Liverpool 7-1, I hate to admit it, but they were way by far the better side on that night. But then we beat them 2-1 when they weren't in good form. So, yeah, that's why I'm going to say Aston Villa in sixth place. Now, fifth, the big one, is going to be Leicester City. They always start the season really well. Middle is really good. And then they just start going on a downward spiral. I really want to see them in um, Champions League, but that wouldn't happen because you've got the likes of uh, United, Chelsea, Liverpool and Man City above them. So now it's coming in to the top four. Now then, the big one, top four. This was a really hard decision, these four teams, but in fourth place, I'm going to say Chelsea. They've got a good team and I think they're going to do really well. But if Timo Werner can't score, then I think they're still going to come uh, fourth because of the likes of Hakim Ziyech and Kai Havertz and then their defence. So, yeah, that's is what I'm going with fourth place. Next up is going to be Manchester United because they're two good signings, Jadon Sancho and Rafael Varane. Um, they're the best signings they could have made. The reason why I, th I think they're going to beat Chelsea is because of their strength and depth um, and their attack. Their attack is going to be so good next season. Jadon Sancho is going to be scoring left, right and centre. Rafael Varane is going to be such a great defender for them. That's so top two now. Next up is the last two. I think everybody's going to put these as the last two. Uh, second place is Liverpool. Mainly because, well... They've got they've got Van Dijk back. They have, uh, 
and Van Dijk is the key to their to their good play. So I'm just putting them into second spot. I think you all know who's gonna come come into first spot. Next up in first spot, I think is gonna be Man City. They're gonna win again, and I just there's no there's no doubt about it. Anybody th who thinks otherwise is deluded. They got a great attack, great midfield, great defense, and a great goalkeeper. Nobody nobody can outclass them at the moment. They're such a good team.